Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I find on the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram which is toys underscore R Us. So for those of you wanting to see or hear what happened obviously in the fans pull stream, I'm not going to be discussing much about that. In fact, nothing about that at all. That's all on the previous video so don't, don't worry, you're not going to get loads and loads of repeats on that. What I will say on the matter is it was really nice to see obviously leader armada megs and the repackage of dirge because i know every single person wanted that still um yeah it was just nice to see them and of course beachcomber looked amazing as well anyway on to this particular news so sightings and toy sightings of rise of the beasts at the moment they are just popping up everywhere this is from mexican retail these images here so we've got mainline voyages we've got the masks we've got I'm just going to show you, I've took this information from TFW 2005. What we've got there is, of course, they're like the Titan size figures. See, they've just repackaged them in Titan packaging. So there's Starscream and there's that Optimus Prime. I did a, uh, they're called Titan Changes, I believe. Um, and they've just packaged them in Rise of the Beasts. There is, of course, the new mainline uh, Voyager class Optimus Prime. And I've got some more images of him in a second. And I've also highlighted this there. There's the Titan Changer Megatron, which is going to segue. There we go. I've zoomed right in for you, right into this here. Because this is obviously what I was telling everybody um, on Saturday. And of course, everybody I thought, they, like myself, thought this has got to be an April Fool. But it obviously isn't. It just looks like um, they're just repackaging all old figures into Beast Wars, not Beast Wars, Rise of the Beasts packaging. So the toy itself, as you can see, from that shot there the toy itself is a genuine toy uh, the artwork though this is what's got people guessing and people a bit as i say uncertain it's easier if i just read it straight out to you so what it is is it basically looks to be the unused artwork for megatron from the bumblebee movie um so whether or not he's going to appear in the movie we still don't know all we know is that the figure is definitely legit and it looks like the artwork as well on the side of the box is legit as well so Again, we wait to see and hear more regarding it. But in the meantime, there is the rest of the images of that particular toy. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Then we've got some more. This is all some more figures that have been found at US retail. So Autobots Unite, Optimus Prime, the two-in-one masks, the smash changes, Autobots, Un Autobots Unite have been found pretty much everywhere at the moment. Again, I've got more images to share with you here. This is mainly US retail. And again, we've got some repackaged, there's the smash change at the bottom. We've got some repackaged uh, Bumblebee um, igniters characters as well, which we're gonna see again in quite a bit more detail. This again is something really interesting. This is a Starscream figure, again in Rise of the Beast packaging, but of course not yet confirmed and not known to be in the movie. This is images are from Mexican toy, uh, toy shops and toy shelves. So we've got Flex Changers, we've got Autobots Unite. Um, these are pretty much the Energy Igniters as well. There's the Autobots Unite, the small packs just repackaged. There's the Energy Igniters I was on about. You can see, so you've probably seen these in Bumblebee packaging, in Buzzworthy Bumblebee packaging. Um, they're just, again, getting complete use of the mould. Um, and of course, there we've got Starscream. You can see it definitely says Rise of the Beasts um, on, on the packaging, but I'm pretty sure as well that that's the um, image for, of Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie. But of course, there is a Starscream figure. So yeah, I keep saying it. We're going to say it loads and loads and loads that we're just going to get so many of these figures. There's the flex changes we saw last week, which look really interesting, to be honest. Moving on to something else. This is spectacular. For obvious reasons, I cannot show it you. Uh, it's all over social media. If you haven't seen it yet, head to TFW 2005. Press this little play button here. It is the TV spot, and it was during the 2023 NCAA Men's Final Four. Uh, the basketball field transforms, and Optimus Prime and Optimus Prime enter, and they transform as well. It is spectacular. Uh, I haven't even got any screenshots of it. I just strongly recommend you go and have a nose at it, because if you've not seen it yet, it is absolutely brilliant. Okay, so I mentioned just before that we've got some much, much better images of the new mainline Optimus Primal Voyager figure. Well, here he is. So this is him out of the box. In You'll see both modes in a second. In fact, he's pretty much got three, hasn't he? He's got standing, obviously, robot mode. 
you can see we've still got the cutouts at the back where you can tab obviously the blades in for each particular mode so we've got obviously optimus prime's head that way we've got the bipedal one you'll see in a second um and of course we've got the actual gorilla mode as well so i think it looks pretty good it looks to be quite a different new mold we've already seen from the previous images that the heads are going to spin around on a slightly different way as to how the kingdom figure did um the only thing that as i say surprises me is that they haven't really i'm saying haven't really you know they didn't really push this forward before it was out on the shelves because it's just been everywhere uh, for a beat at least the last week or so so good to see good to see it's official and you know it, exactly that it's these are figures that you can pretty much go and buy or pre-order everywhere now right here's something that unfortunately we just missed out on this was a rise of the beast so it's not the statues this time this is the optimus prime truck this was on exhibit over the weekend and it was at let me just check the exact thing the mid-america trucking show 2023 event there's nothing written here whether it says it's going to be uh taken anywhere else unfortunately it's just got the details from the show it was at so i've got some images here of it it looks spectacular it's it's lovely and it? it's g1-esque it's an old school um as you say cab it's there it looks it looks really good can't wait to see the movie um even more so just for this just for the fact that it just takes me back to my g1 days and this is of course pretty much the optimus i wanted to see in the very very first movie so i know he's gonna look different in robot mode but the alternate mode looking at that and again that last scene at the end of bumblebee when he's across the um going across the bridge with him is just just so amazing just for someone uh perhaps of my age i just wished i'd have seen this to be honest and again sorry for getting it to you so late it's already been and done right this is something that's quite interesting and again it just proves that transformers will put their name on everything so this is nebula which is a company that specializes in smart projectors they've updated their website and there's a new officially licensed capsule 3 laser projector transformers special edition so this is a smart but powerful laser HD projector. Yes, I'm reading this because I don't know much about it. Compatibility with the Android TV 11.0 and the gadget features a nice Optimus Prime art with the Transformers logo. It's ready to order via the Nebula website for $900 or with a discount coupon of $120 at the moment. So it's a projector and it looks very, very good. It is, of course, as we've said, a Transformers one. So you've got, of course, Optimus Prime's face on the front. There it is. We've got some images of it in a second projecting, um, of course, the Transformers Rise of the Beasts movie. I think it's saying there that it weighs 2.1 pounds. Um, yeah, I pretty much gather that. And there you go. Save energy. Watch longer. It's a portable take with you projector. And as you can see there, it works with streaming services as well. Looks very interesting, to be fair. I've never heard of them. Um, I might go and check out my local Curry's PC just to see what they do look like because it looks very impressive and i like the idea of having something like that on the go right and in fact there's a video there as well on tfw 2005 if you want to watch it as well right this is what i was on about in the last uh, video as well so this is some more official promotional uh exactly that promotional posters uh, for rise of the beasts now we've got the full length poster there so you have to excuse me it's not too detailed we've obviously got Michi Picchu this side with the Maximals then we've got New York City with the Autobots that side but again if we zoom into this everybody is there um Autobot wise apart from Wheeljack and it's just really really strange that now that he's not in anything we obviously know that he's going to be in it we've had some toys with him out um but nothing at all on any of the promotional images with Wheeljack, so again, the the plot thickens, shall we say. Moving on, I took these images from tformers.com, uh, not BMAC, BMAC uh, Hasbro, uh, BACon has done exactly what I would do with these weaponizers, they look amazing. He's gone and got them and he's completely powered them all up. He's mixed and matched all the little weaponizers, which you can see. These figures I'm yet to see anywhere, so hopefully I can go and find some in hand soon. Uh, but what I like what he's done here is there they all are with the two in alternate mode. And then what he's done is he's kind of combined them all up into a ridiculously oversized weapons and cannons, which is again exactly what I want it would do to be fair. And that's why I thought I'd share it with you as well. Okay, I've been back on Fans Hobby's website. And again, I'm about to take some pictures of this because I, I'm pretty new to this. So it says time for a rerun, stay tuned. So the, the names that I would know these by would be, of course, Laser Prime and, of course, R.I.D. Scourge. So thankfully, someone in the comments has helped me out here. And it looks like the name of the, is 
Fans Hobby Arch Enemy. And they're saying it's one of the best figures in their collection. Uh, this is taking a screenshot just of the comments. So obviously it looks like they're gonna be reissuing and re-releasing these. So there you go, here's just the images of the trailers. Um, and again, I'll keep you posted with more images as and when they pop them up. Okay, then I'm moving on to some normal sightings. So not much Rise of the Beast, normal sightings in Canada. Legacy Wave 5 to look shrapnel, animated universe Prowl and Crosscut have been found um, in a GameStop in Alberta. Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Origin Jazz and Nest Ratchet were both spotted at, at Markville Toys R Us. Generation Select's Guardian Robot was found at GameStop in Ontario. And in the UK, pretty much Le Legacy Leader Wave 4 is out on the shelves. Now, I was looking to get mine from in-demand uh, online store, but they're pretty much in the shelves right now. I also want to make a little point on, obviously, that picture that I got sent uh, regarding the Origin Jazz. Um, I'm not saying it's original. It, it looks pretty original to me. There's a few people saying it's not. There's people saying it is or that it could be a different price. But all I want to add to that is nothing surprises me anymore, obviously. Galaxy Shuttle from the Velocitron Wave Light was so hard to find. Um, Pre-orders weren't met, etc. Then he appeared in a game shop, which is a bit like a discount store, for less than you know less than half price what he was being originally sold for. Same as the Buzzworthy Four Pack. I don't know what's going on with um, distribution all around the world at the moment. It just seems to be all over the place. Right, more sightings. Legacy Wave Five Core Deluxe and Voyager in Australia. Legacy Wave Five Deluxe and Voyager Buzzworthy Origin Jazz in Malaysia. Studio Series Wave 19, Rise of the Beasts in New Zealand. Bumblebee Origin Jazz in Singapore. Bumblebee Origin Jazz, Generation Selects Guardian Robot. Robot. And the, the jammy ones over there, they've got Evolution War Pack, the two, it's the War Dawn 2 Pack. That is officially been found in shelves in Taiwan as well. I got all this information from TFW 2005. Okay. Moving on to one of the last little things on here, the pop taters as well, I've mentioned on this channel before. These have also been spotted at and in US retail. There they are physically on the shelves and somebody's physically picked him up. $6.99 it looks like on the packaging. Before we finish off with some third party news, that's the Dr. Wu packaging for the two pack of their take on, I nearly said Dirge, but it's not of course, it is Ramjet and Cosmos. That's the ones I've got on pre-order. So hopefully I'll be getting that soon via shows e-stores again they're available for pre-order right now so with regards to the channel i didn't tell you in the last video I, there was too much going on i've still got um the core class thundercracker to do a freezer uh new age their take on art fire i need to have a proper look at master Fee, masterpiece skyfire i've got to confess he's still in the box i've just been so busy with everyday normal life um, and my kids, etc. I can't wait to get that figure out. It looks like it's going to be this weekend's project now, though, rather than the last one. Can't wait to get that review out to you as soon as possible. I'm planning the next live, as well as doing my NEC toy show on the 16th. I'm doing the NEC next week. I'll probably do the live the week after that. I'll keep you guys posted with all the details up regarding that. And Instagram, again, I'm just trying to keep up taking pictures of the figures that I'm actually reviewing. So huge thank you to everybody for the support, channel members especially, and everybody out there using my toys my Toys R Us code for show Z. Thank you ever so much, guys. Loads of news has been happening, obviously, in the last 24 hours. If nothing else, dramatic breaks in the next 48. I will see you guys uh, for the Friday updates as well. Thanks very much. Take care.